Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the KitchenAid 5 Quart Artisan Mixer. This one is in Aqua Sky. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors, so you can take your pick for what matches your kitchen or gives you a pop of color. This comes with a stainless steel 5 Quart bowl, a pouring shield and splash guard, a wire whisk, a dough hook, and the standard beater blade. So if you're doing cakes and cookies and things like that, you're going to use the beater blade. For heavy, denser breads, you're going to use the dough hook, and then for meringues and whipped cream, you're gonna use this whisk. So the splatter guard can just be picked up off of it while you have the head down or placed on it while the head is down. This is great for adding uh, flour and things like that to the mixture or eggs or whatever uh, while it's still mixing. Uh, just kind of pour it in there and it guides it in. To change out the head or take the bowl out, you just lift this up there's a lock on it right here where you can lock it down if you're doing something heavy duty. I lock it down every time I'm turning this on and that just keeps the head from tilting up. To add an attachment to this thing, you've got the main spindle with a locking pin and all of your accessories have a little bayonet style lock. So you slide it on with that keyhole lined up and then turn it 90 degrees and it's secured in place. The old style of these had a spring that would compress these and keep them sticking down. It felt really secure, but you could get a bunch of gunk up on that spring. So these new ones don't have it. And, and at first I was a little bit disappointed, but after using this, I really don't need it. And it's a lot easier to clean this way. This thing is a 325 watt motor and a really powerful gearbox. And as it spins, as it turns, it's got an epicyclic gearbox, which means this rotates around the center shaft and the center shaft spins. So it gets right up against the edges of this bowl in every single spot as it goes around. So you don't have to scrape the sides as much. This has 10 different speeds. And as you move the lever here, it will click into each spot. 10 is really fast. You wanna use that for whipping, for dough and things like that. You wanna use one of the low speeds. The base on this has non-slip pads that are really sturdy. Uh, this is not gonna walk around your counter while you're using it. You can just leave it unattended while it's running and not have to worry about it. The bowls on these lock into place by turning. So you can take it out once you're done mixing and it's got a metal base right here and there are metal catches on this that slide into place. You just set it down, give the handle a turn and you're locked in. And on the front right here, you've got your power takeoff for all the different accessories that KitchenAid makes. I think they make a meat grinder, they make pasta makers, they make just about anything you can imagine for kitchen accessories for this. You just take this off, there's a square shaft in here uh, that you attach your attachments to and then turn it in with a set screw. So this thing is a beast. You do cookies with this, uh, cakes, all sorts of different things to bake. Uh, banana bread is one of our favorites and this handles it no problem. The only thing we've seen it bog down a little bit on is when you've got a huge batch of dough for bread. Uh, that's a really thick dough uh, with the dough hook. Sometimes you'll hear it working a little bit harder, but everything else, it just kind of doesn't even notice it's in there. This thing also has a three foot cord on it, so you should be able to put it just about on any kitchen counter surface and still have it reach an outlet. So overall, I think this is a great stand mixer. There's a reason it's such an icon in everyone's kitchen throughout all these years. Uh, we had our original one for 12 years, same model. Uh, as soon as that one died, we went out and bought this one same day.